Today we've reached a milestone. Hi, I'm Connie Vanderman Jeffrey, and this is All God's People, the 200th episode. Little did we dream on May 17, 2017, when we began sharing our weekly video roundup of news and inspiration from across the Pacific Union, that we'd be here 200 episodes later with more incredible stories from our schools and churches and institutions and members than ever. But four years, five seasons, and 200 episodes later, we've brought you over 600 stories about how God is working in the lives of students, teachers, ministries, local churches, pastors, and members all across the Pacific Southwest. It's been such a joy to tell these stories. One source for the stories we share is Pacific Sunrise, the twice-weekly email newsletter from editor Faith Hoyt, our very own communications specialist and assistant editor of The Recorder. Pacific Sunrise started in January 2019, and now, two and a half years later, it continues to be the most welcome newsletter in my inbox each Tuesday and Thursday morning. I hope you're receiving it, but if not, we'll tell you how to do it and to sign up for it in our bulletin. Faith has done amazing work gathering stories from our schools and churches. I asked her to pick seven stories, one from each of our seven conferences, to share for our 200th episode of All God's People. We begin with Nevada, Utah Conference. During the pandemic, Summit Christian Academy's third and fourth graders got to see firsthand why washing your hands matters. Using lotion mixed with glitter, students were able to observe how germs transfer after shaking hands and how a thorough hand washing with soap and water removed all the glitter. What a great lesson at this time, when the importance of good hand hygiene matters so much. Recently, the Education Department of the Arizona Conference started a new camp for their seventh and eighth graders called GRIP. The acronym is based on 1 Thessalonians 5.21. Test everything, hold on to everything that is good. Each letter represents letters for holding on to what is good when making decisions and helps introduce young people to using the Bible when evaluating decisions. The first GRIP event, a virtual gathering, took place on March 4 and included a service project in their local community. People often think life in Hawaii must mean living in paradise. However, underlying difficulties with the education of young people can make it less of a paradise. Many high school graduates in Hawaii do not pursue higher education due to financial constraints, family responsibilities, or fear of living outside of the Hawaiian Islands. Therefore, Hawaiian Mission Academy is seeking to bring career pathways to its students that will encourage them and bring hope. The school is currently piloting a medical assistant program, which started at the beginning of the semester, using current staff and medical professionals from the community. In the past months, students have learned various medical terms, how to take vitals and blood pressure, and how to give injections. The school will seek to add another career opportunity pathway as it continues to build this program. There's nothing like a great spelling bee. An Orangevale SDA school in Northern California recently held a socially distant one. Each classroom held its preliminary contest and one winner from each grade participated in the final event. Beginning with words at first grade level, the spelling bee got progressively more challenging. It took 19 rounds to declare a winner. Sixth grader Leanne Wagner won by correctly spelling Yeoman. Her name will be included on a plaque in the school office, which displays all the spelling bee winners since 1994. What started as a simple idea in Central California has grown into a flourishing community farm that's building strong relationships. You would never know it from the street, but between the Templeton Hills Church and school, a little farm sits on what used to be a soccer field. With the help of a grant from the Pacific Union Conference, the farm started with one hoop house, a small greenhouse, and some outdoor row crops. A month before the farm was ready to open to the public, the pandemic shutdowns began. But amid the lockdown, the Templeton Hills Farm became a place of peace for so many people. Since the farm opened, it's gained another hoop house and more plans for expansion are in the works. On April 18 this year, the farm celebrated its one year anniversary. Templeton Hills Community Farm is a place to gather, learn, nourish the land, and be nourished by its bounty. Here's a story I love from Southern California. Mrs. Negretti and her transitional kindergarten and kindergarten students have been learning about the butterfly life cycle in recent weeks. 
Mrs. Negretti was kind enough to invite all the classes at White Memorial Adventist School to come and watch the release of her students' butterflies. And it was captured for the enjoyment of all on Facebook Watch. What a great lesson in transformation. At Loma Linda Academy in the Southeastern California Conference, the mission for all students is to grow in God's grace, thrive intellectually, develop true friendships, and embrace healthful living. Recently, the students made this video to say thank you to their teachers. We close this 200th episode of All God's People with gratitude for the stories we've been blessed to share and for the precious students across our union, students who have developed a new appreciation for their teachers. As always, links to this video and other resources are in our bulletin. Thank you for watching and being inspired. For All God's People, I'm Connie Jeffrey.